so I'm ready to go ahead and just dive right on in. I feel so strongly that right now the time is needed for me to just dive into what I'm doing with my life. I believe that's probably the most effective way to help others, you know, accelerate in their lives. Last week when I talked about setting goals and having a vision for your life, I want to kind of like really focus in on what that means. And so like I was trying to decide what I was going to talk about when I came on here today. And with that said, like okay great you got to have a vision great okay yes we need to have goals but it's like how do you start working towards those goals and so today i want to talk about creating a routine i have a routine for everything that i do like i don't care what it is it can be for how i cook it can be for how i clean it's how i go to work for how i do my makeup it's so many routines that i have it helps you reach the goal without getting off track and so like i'm gonna pull up my like routine so that y'all can see like this is what it means like to really tackle and conquer your goals and achieve the vision that you have for your life and so like it didn't start out with me having these routines set up like over time i have created this and so Today, I kind of want to just start right here where I'm at in life and show you my routine and show you what it took for me to get to where I'm at. If you have some pens, you have some paper and you want to just do this as I'm talking, feel free to do that because like how else can we grow unless we're walking towards going to better in our lives. And so like I'm going to go ahead and talk about my let's let's go with my morning routine like what i do every morning when i get up and so i work in the corporate world and so with that said like okay typically you're going to work an eight to five schedule or something of that nature and so if you work in the corporate field like i do or if you're in the corporate world like i am or you work in the marketplace then you know like that's going to be the standard hours that you work or you know if you work something different maybe second or third shift then you'll have to make some adjustments and before i go any further i want to shout out my friend mia because she has been vital to me creating routines like it didn't start off this way and that's why i said i wanted to show you what the routine was for me i'm just gonna scroll so you can see like i have a routine for how i get up with her mia was pivotal to me creating like schedule for myself and so like it started out <laughs> let me get my words together where do i want to go i was in a place of wanting more when it came to the makeup industry and so she helped me formulate a schedule for creating youtube content as far as makeup tutorials on youtube and then you know running my business day to day at my makeup studio and also teaching um, makeup artists and coaching models during my fashion shows and also singing on the praise team and I was also creating music for myself as a artist and so with that I was like look like I want to start really creating a schedule for that and really getting in the frame of mind to where it's consistent with what I'm doing and so she went through and did this whole map out of what to do and when to do it on my calendar and so like she was pivotal in helping me create a routine and this was like maybe a year and a half ago ever since then i decided that i was going to create a routine and so i wanted to share that because now i'm going to show you the routine i have now and so for my morning routine this is monday through friday monday through friday i wake up at 4 30 and this is my prayer time from 4 30 to 4 50 in the morning this is when i read my bible and i read the daily plan that you can get on the bible app and once that's done at 4 50 to 5 15 i go to the restroom i make up my bed I brush my teeth and i get ready for my workout i begin my workouts at 5 20 and i work out to 5 50. so that's a 30 minute workout that i do every day i fix my breakfast from 5 50 to 620 and then after that i get my shower from 625 to 650 and then i get dressed and put on my makeup 
from 6.50 to 7.10 and after that it's time to leave for work from 7.15 and then I arrive at work at 7.30 and so I have everything listed in detail and from then on from 7.45 to 3.15 I work at the school that I work at from 7.45 to 3.15 Monday through Friday and then on top of that I work a part-time job and so that schedule fluctuates and so I put on here you know typically I work three days a week and so that fluctuates between four to seven uh, Monday through Friday and then on the weekends it's typically either 1045 to three or three to seven or something of that nature but I have that all listed because it's so important to know what you're doing in the day and stay consistent with how much time you're spending doing what you're doing and just having a track record of where is my time going and how much time do I have to do other things and so when I get home from doing all my daily duties at work that's time for me to focus on myself and to build myself and so when I'm not working from 3.30 till 10 o'clock at my second job if I'm not working that job I then go home from my first job at the school I come home and this is my time to spend my time at home and it says spending time at home relaxing this is my devotional time this is when I watch movies and I watch TV is my wind down time and it says no working during this time or on the phone unless it's <clears throat> sorry excuse me I'm still kind of getting over a little cough from 10 to 10 30 I'm already in the bed this is my time to get on YouTube and watch inspirational videos and get ready for bed and so like when I say creating a routine is necessary to everything you do in life it helps you stay focused on where you're trying to get to in life and so with the routine I created I know that the type of life that I want to live I love working in the corporate industry and so as someone who wants to work for themselves full time this is the schedule that I would still follow so that I can maintain the level of success that I want to get to. What I would like to see you do if you haven't already created a schedule for yourself is to get focused on what things do you want to see for yourself. Where do you want to see yourself in life? And so for me, I'm a makeup artist, singer, I also love fashion, and with that comes having to be able to manage and balance all of that out. And so because of that, I have to have a routine. Sorry y'all, <laughs> let me drink my little tea. And even when it comes to that, I have a schedule for my clothes being picked out every day. Like, I know what I'm going to have picked out for the whole week and that's because for someone like me who has multiple things that I'm good at I have to make sure that I'm not spending time on things that don't need to be spent on so I make sure that if there's something that I can prepare ahead of time I try to prepare it ahead of time and so that'll help you get focused in on what you're good at and what you're gifted in it help you build a skill set of being organized and structured so many people today don't understand that a routine is what helps you stay organized. If you go back to elementary school when you were a kid, every day you got up, you did the same thing when you went to school. You got up at 7.45 and you stayed there till 2.30 and you did the same thing every day. And that schedule was set because it helped you stay structured. And so the same thing happens when you get outside of school and you live in this life. You have to have a routine. If you want to go anywhere in life, if you want to accelerate in life, you have to have a routine. And so I encourage you, if you have not already, create a routine. Make a list of how you're spending your time at work, what you do when you get off, what you do when you're about to go to bed, the time you cook your food, what you're doing the next day, how are you planning to get out of the corporate industry if that's where you are and you're trying to work for yourself. And that all begins with creating a routine to help you flow into where it is you want to go next.